Whiskey Jason here, whiskey from the viewpoint of an American over here in Germany tasting rare and exotic whiskeys. Today I have a single cask, 10 year old Ed de Dauer, full maturation in a Mazala cask. Ooh, yeah. All right, whiskey base number two, 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 seven, three, six. Now, to be very honest, I don't know about you, but all right, my channel colors in German are orange because I had the, the very first bottle I ever did was, wow, 3,600 videos ago. Um, an old granddad, the orange, so I cannot say I hate the orange, but the orange on the brown it just somehow reminds me of 1982. Um, yes, I was alive. I was 13 years old back then, so... Uh, macrame and whatever else was going on in the world at that moment, Ronald Reagan and so on and so on. Um, it just does not ring a bell with me here. All right, so um, yeah, Mazala. I like Mazala. I like Mazala chicken. I've had um, one bottle of Mazala, which I didn't really, really love. Um, I love it with cooking. Um, but I'm, I've had a few different bottles in my life of whiskey that I've had a Mazala cast finish, and most of them have been fascinatingly good. So, just pointing that out at the beginning. What am I going to compare it to? I'm sure maybe probably two people are going to just shut the video off now because they're like, Jason, you idiot, no. Irish whiskey. The Whistler. This is a single cask um, from the Netherlands. This was for the 10th anniversary of Drang Duzin, and it's nine years old with a 10-month finish in Mazala casks. And before that, it had matured in an ex-bourbon barrel. So we have 58.25% ABV. I chose it for two reasons. Number one, I personally believe that a single malt from Ireland um, can match, even surpass a single malt from Scotland, just in general. Yeah, um, some Scottish are much better than Irish, and some Irish are much better than some Scottish. And I think single malt on a pot still, it doesn't matter if it's in Ireland or Scotland, can both be excellent, excellent things. Both are double distilled, no problem there. And this has a full maturation Mazala. Maz Mazala is a fortified wine from Sicily, from the region of the area called Mazala. And um, just like we have port, which you take a wine and you put um, not grain neutral spirit, but rather, um, is it grape brandy? Um, <laughs> you put brandy in there, you um, take that grape neutral spirit that is made, um, put that into the sherry, put that into the port, put that into the mazala. And um, the very, very interesting fact was that I learned, I learned something new about this when I was doing the video. This is a single cask and yet it's 397 bottles. So it's 10 years old and you just have 397 divided or times 0 0.7 because that's the size of our bottle. So you get 277.9 liters of juice, of distillate. So an American standard bar barrel, 200. A barrique, 225. Hmm. A hogshead, 250. Hmm. A butt, 500. What's going on here? This is cast number 82. And then I started reading and I started reading and they use Mazala pipes. Now we, I know what a port pipe is, but I did not know what a Mazala pipe is. A Mazala pipe has a hundred gallons. So a hundred gallons is 380 basically liters. So that makes sense. 380 after 10 years, 278 almost okay for the angel share why not now i am not 100 percent sure that this is going to be a first film mazala i'll tell you why in a second all right let's look at the color so both of these have very very similar colors we have a little bit more of a darker color with the edge of the hour a little bit more of a peach color with the whistler now as i said this was a single cask um i actually like this very very much while doing the first video about that anyways on the nose i like it's got a f it's got like a little bit of mayacuya um a little bit of mayacuya with vanilla and <sighs> vanilla mayacuya but it has a berry note to it going on there 
and a little bit of a raspberry. This has a little bit more of a of a mineral moment going on there, but it also very nice. The, he, the heat of this one on the nose is a tiny, tiny little bit um, higher. I'm just trying to find out real quick um, what type of berries are used. Mazala is a fortified wine, dry or sweet, produced in the region surrounding the Italian city of Mazala in Sicily. All right. It does not say. Okay, here. Got it. Mazala is produced using the Grillo Insolialia, Insol, Insolia, um, Catarata, and the uh, Damascino white grape varietals, among others. All right, different Mazala wines are classified to the color, sweetness, and the duration of aging. All right, so it is a white wine. Very good. So I learned so much more about spirits by just learning about whiskey and how different casks are being used and how this happens. Now, the thing that surprises me, 60.6%, .6%, right? No burn whatsoever. There are not many single malt scotch that I can actually stick my nose in and take the biggest whiff that I can and still go, ooh, that's nice. And it's 10 years of age. So one tiny little fun fact. We actually, I just did my video here about the um, Bordeaux. This was bottled in September 2021, made it to Germany in December 2022. This was bottled in May. All right, 1st of May 2021 and arrived in, it was, it was first sold in Germany on December 6th, 2022, 18 months later. Imagine this could have been an 11 year, maybe even a 12 year old product. Um, vintage, it was distilled in, um, on the 11th of March, 2021. That's not right, 2011. And bottled on the 1st of May, 2021, wow. All right, so let's try these. 60.6 .6 versus, um, what do we have over here? 58.25. Cheers. Mm -hmm. Now, I will be honest. This whiskey is a tad too hot for me. Hot as in too much alcohol. Um, oh, yeah. Wait for the finish. Nice. I really, really like Masada finished products, apparently. This is a very nice balance between... There's not much wood. There's spirit. And there's finish. There's not much wood. And that's one of the reasons I thought it's going to not be a first fill Masada. Um, if I go over to the Whistler... And I just tried this 10 month finish. Hmm. Hmm. This is a much softer whiskey, 58.25%. This is a little bit, has a lot, lot more elbows and a little bit more of, um, of um, it's not soft, it's not smooth, it's not silky. This is in your face. This is a little bit dirtier type of whiskey. This is much sweeter, and the masala really comes through. I don't know if you ever had from a typical Indian dish would be masala chicken, and you have that masala moment. I'm getting it here. I'm getting it here as well. Here, I'm getting much more of a wood. Um, that wood influence is much more evident here than here, and also the alcohol. Um, there's a tiny little bit of a burn here. Um, I'm not sure if it's the... The alcohol or something else. I'm going to put a little bit of water in this one as well. Cast strength just means it's straight from the barrel. Does not mean it's the perfect drinking strength. So I think the perfect drinking strength of this is going to be around 4, 54%. On the nose, still good. Hmm. Mm. 
This is a B minus whiskey. Wow. Happy Jason. Um, without the water, it's more of a C plus. But with the water, it turns into B minus. It's actually, oh yeah. Mm, and it takes forever for that, that, that finish not just to develop and just envelop, uh, develop and envelop the entire mm, ca ca cavity of my mouth. Um, but also, um, it doesn't dissipate. It's there. It stays there. It, the finish goes on and on and on. Now this is um, four. This is eighty-four euros ninety. So eighty-five euros. Um, it is priced for the year twenty twenty-three. We've had inflation over here, ten percent versus the year before. So knock off ten percent. So we're going to be around a seventy-five euros. Mm. Would I like to see this at somewhere around 65 euros? Of course. Do I live a little bit of a fantasy world? Yes. Would I buy another one of these? Maybe. As I said, this is a B minus whiskey. Without, without water, it's a C plus. Value for money, I'm going to go with a C minus. But I'm very tempted to actually pour myself another dram. Um, that, it's still there. Mmm, it's still that mazala, wonderful finish, um, sorry, full maturation is still there. Um, I do get a tad, maybe it's just my willing it into being, or maybe it really is the truth, um, but I do get the typical Edredawa, for example, the Edredawa 10, um, that distillate plus the mazala together. Now, would I rather have, I think, what does Edredawa 10 cost over here? I know I can get two. Can I get two and a half of these? Edra Dawa 10. I haven't bought an Edra Dawa 10 in many, many years. So I, I thought it used to be 34 euros. It's 39 euros. So I can actually get two Edra Dawa 10s for the price of one of these. What would I rather have? <laughs> At the moment, I oh, it's gone. It's not gone, but it's finally fading away. That mazala finish moment. Two minutes? I mean, that's fantastic. I really, really like this whiskey. So, um, this might this might be the new reality that a cast strength single barrel from Edredawa is not under 80 euros. Okay. Am I willing to pay that? Maybe. This is actually one of the whiskeys that um, I would consider stashing away someplace and then after a year or two coming back to it and using it in a blind tasting and say hey what is this and people are going oh yeah i get that mazala but what, what what's the distillery wait a second it's almost like edredawa did edredawa ever have a um, mazala yes if you go to um whiskey base and you type in edredawa on mazala you get 24 individual bottlings most of them are straight from the cask, F, F, SFTCs from Edredawa, but they've been doing them since 2004. So they are not absolutely um, unknown, but this is something, at least for Germany, a single cask for us, special that it worked out just fine. Very, very nice. Now I add a little bit of water to this. Mm. Mm, also nice. <laughs> this is going to be a B minus C plus um, plus. It's got a good finish as well. Very very nice mazala. I like. It's not just a cooking wine. It's a wonderful wonderful wine here to be using for the cask finishes or full maturation. Question of the day: What other whiskeys can you recommend with mazala in them? either Mazada full maturation or a cask finish. Would be wonderful, wonderful to hear from you about that. Now, Whiskey Jason over here, whiskey from the viewpoint of an American, tasting rare and exotic whiskeys, you know that by now. But I also try to give you a little bit of extra value, a little bit of information, a little bit of background information, and so on. Sicily, fortified wine, yummy. <laughs> Thank you very much. Don't forget to share, like, and tell others. Bye-bye.